Hello, my name is Harrison Varnado. We were on Project UC202 and we made a building map application. I worked with Lucas Haas, Eddie Pion, and Zach Wilson. So for our app, uh, Zach was inspired by stories that his mom told him from the Children's Hospital of Atlanta with the new Arthur M. Blank Hospital where families were having a hard time navigating the building and finding their kids. So that was our inspiration for the app, was to create a way to navigate buildings more easily so that some of the stress of being in a new place goes away. So our solution to this problem was to create an intuitive mobile application that would allow users to just select their starting location, where they want to go, and then it will generate a route for them. We also wanted to include some nicer features such as a light and dark mode as well as QR codes which you can scan as your kind of find me. All right, I'm Lucas Haas, one of the lead designers of the application. So to go through the app flow, we wanted to make a very user-friendly, user-centric application that helps you search a indoor building, almost like an indoor GPS. So to go through the basics real quick, we have a, a starting page that'll allow you to use a uh, QR code to scan and almost give you a, a mall map like you are here location to, to show where you are and then pinpoint a in location to find your route. So if we go to the sidebar, we have a hamburger menu that shows up destination map about us, some simple tabs and pages you can traverse that we'll show you in the demo, the map page with the algorithm that'll push out the, the route for you, and then the route created, which this is our ideal route in the end with locations. So to transition over, we'll go into the, the demo. Now pushing into the demo, so We'll open up into this screen, which is our destination screen, which will show us the instructions of how to run the app. So you're gonna to wanna to scan a QR code, which I can pull up real quick, which will show us up, up, up. <laughs> uh, a room, say a QR code was on this TV, you would scan the QR code and then it would punch you back into the app and push you into the map screen in which world will show you your current location and then you'll plug in your final destination in which it'll do the map for you. Uh, another simple page to go through, we have our about us, which is just everything we kind of discussed today. We have the team members, our mission, story, approach, just kind of a, a general page to show our growth of the project and where we were. Um, we have a settings tab to push things into dark mode a size for those that need a larger size to see or smaller to fit more text on the screen to go back to the about us to have it more in a paragraph form. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna hand this back over to Harrison to show us the, the algorithm that we use. So for this project, we just implemented a pretty simple Dijkstra's algorithm. We, were, we built this application using the Flutter framework, which has a package for Dijkstra specifically. So what we do is we store the different rooms, nodes, in this case, in a JSON format. And then we parse that JSON to create a graph of all of the rooms and how they're connected through the hallways. From there, we can plug in your current location and a destination. And from there, it will generate a route. We are currently still working on the displaying of the route so for this demo it will just be nodes for the steps however come c day if you stop by our booth we'll have those routes fully working so you can stop by and see how that looks now thank you everybody for your time uh, we hope to see you stop by our booth at c day and i hope you have a great night thanks